how to combat climate change while at the same time securing Europe's future energy supplies. It's one of the EU's biggest challenges. And here in Strasbourg this week, the EPP group has been shaping the debate about two very different options for the future. The first option is more conventional, the Nabucco pipeline, a link bringing natural gas from the Caspian Sea across Turkey to Central Europe. The European Commission has given substantial financial and political backing to this project, not least because it will help to diversify Europe's sources of gas. The EPP group has taken the lead in the Parliament, supporting the development of a common external energy security policy for the EU. In the past few years, supplies from Russia to Europe have been frequently disrupted in midwinter because of Russia's political disputes with neighbouring Ukraine, through which most Russian gas passes. So will the Nabucco pipeline help to weaken Europe's dependence on Russian gas? Yanis Kasselidis, MEP from Cyprus, is a vice president of the EPP group and the coordinator responsible for these strategic issues. Mr Kasselidis, how do you think that Nabucco will contribute to the uh, weakening of our dependence on Russian gas? Well, definitely it was decided that the southern corridor is necessary for the energy supply in natural gas and uh, therefore uh, getting directly into Europe gas from the Caspian Sea and perhaps from the Middle East would be an alternative uh, for less dependency. Of course we should not neglect the necessity for a dialogue with Russia on these issues and also answer certain questions regarding Nabucco for instance, the visit of Prime Minister Putin and the agreement with Turkey recently, uh, the offer of Gazprom to buy all the Azerbaijan uh, gas reserves, etc., etc., which have to be answered. Secondly, uh, how do you feel the Commission has approached this important issue? Well, I think the Commission have to get answers to these uh, vital questions, including the question regarding the Russians promising to pump double the amount that will be coming through Nabucco and, and so many other questions that are raised. The second option MEPs have been debating is a more radical solution to worries about Europe's energy security, solar power. The Desertec Foundation was launched earlier this year and it aims to cover a vast area of the Sahara Desert with mirrors to produce electricity, which can then be exported to Europe. But would this really help to reduce carbon emissions? Some scientists say this project is too expensive and will actually contribute to global warming. There are also accusations that it amounts to neo-colonialism, something Spanish MEP Pilar del Castillo is keen to reject. Well, I think it's a way of uh, seeing uh, this kind of project, uh, you know, today days in a in a way which is, uh, doesn't correspond to the reality of today. That uh, you know, colonialism and uh, this kind of thing happens uh, once in a time, but uh, we are in another moment. And I think it's a very interesting project. It's a joint uh, project. It's a common project. I mean, uh, countries uh, there and countries here in the European Union we should act together because if it is like that, it could be possible. If it is not, it will be impossible. It's been a lively debate and one which will come into even sharper focus as the Copenhagen Climate Change Summit approaches in December. For more information on the group's energy policies, please visit our website, eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.